if this is the start of a long war, then the SNP and their leader say they're up for it. No one at this conference seemed ready to accept Theresa May telling them they can't have their referendum. Far from it. Scotland's referendum is going to happen and no UK Prime Minister, no UK Prime Minister should dare to stand in the way of Scotland's democracy. She liked the sound of those defiant words, but the Prime Minister they're referring to at a conference of her own was insisting her way, her party, was best for all Britain. The only party today that represents and delivers for every part of this precious United Kingdom. She accused the SNP of tunnel vision. It is now clear that using Brexit as the pretext to engineer a second independence referendum has been the SNP's sole objective ever since last June. But it would be bad for Scotland, bad for the United Kingdom and bad for us all. The SNP's leader has just responded to that. Surely what is not acceptable and can't be acceptable to any of us is a Conservative government at Westminster that has one MP in Scotland believing that it can simply say no to the democratically elected Scottish government and Scottish parliament and stand in the way of the people of Scotland having a democratic choice about the direction of our country. Today they were preaching to the converted of course. They are not going to agree and this argument will run and run. Paul Davis, ITV News.